Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Okay, straight off the back of the last video, here we go. Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, not going to be 30 minutes, it's certainly going to be less than that. Uh, so sit back, grab a coffee, grab a soft drink, and here we go. For in this video, I'm going to show you how to install ESXi 8. 0.03c i think it's 3c or it, yeah i think it's 8.03c um for free um with no entitlement um required at the broadcom website um as i said in the last at the end of the last video i'm not sure whether this is an oversight undersight wombling free um i don't know really um but um i was in bed one night and uh, I was either dreaming or semi-conscious or woke up and I had a light bulb moment. I thought, hang on a minute, for all those people that keep asking for an ESXi download um, and on some of the forums I've seen, they are met with a very angry, flamed response of um, ESXi free is retired. It's no longer available. Um, and I think that... You know, if you Google free SXI, um, you'll see lots of things about, uh, I think, 18th of February last year. VMware free SXI, no longer free, no longer licenses as of today, February 12th, 2024. Oh, in fact, actually, to be honest, that's almost in the anniversary. The anniversary of the free SXI hypervisor, um, making it end of general availability. Um, and... Um, then I thought to myself, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. There is a mechanism where this can be downloaded. Um, and here it is. Uh, I don't know whether or not that this has been blogged about before. I don't know whether or not this has been talked about before. I certainly not meant, seen it mentioned in any of the forums. Most of the forums just flame people to death when they request um, where is ESXi free. Well, it's here. If you go to the communitybroadcom.com flings, it does require you to have a Broadcom logon. But you will find that um, uh, our friend uh, and very nice bloke, a very good bloke, um, William Lamb, he has created OVAs, nested OVAs, for use with uh, VMware Workstation, VMware vSphere, and a lot of his scripts you will find that he has created OVAs of all the versions of ESXi back to 6.0. 6.0, 6.5, 6.7, 7, 7.02, 7.03, 8.0, and the last one, 8.0 update 3C. So they are virtual appliances. They're OVAs. Um, they are available as a, as a zip file. And uh, I'll show you here. I've downloaded the zip file. Uh, I've extracted the zip file and you've got a lovely appliance template OVA. So you can use that OVA in VMware Workstation to install ESXi completely for free. The download has come from the Broadcom.com website. So I suspect that's legal. Um, it's not hosted on any other website. Um, VMware Workstation is now free. Um, so what is actually stopping you from using it for 60 days for free? When I keep seeing on forums, no, you can't do this. It's no longer available. Well, it's, it's, it's here. It's here in black and white. And I'll show you now how we can use that OVA uh, to create a nested virtual machine in VMware Workstation for you to use as a home lab, training, whatever you like. So without that, without further ado, here we go. Uh, so I've already got um, our existing VMware ESXi that uh, running in the last um, video. So I'm actually going to shut that down um, because we actually basically created that virtual machine with uh, 16 gig and a handful of cores, and certainly it's going to um, it's going to struggle on this particular desktop I've got here. So we've actually turned that off. Anyway, so. To install that OVA, first of all, unzip it. I don't think I have to show you how to do that. And we click open and I'm going to select downloads and I'm going to find that OVA and I'm going to click. OK. Um, and click accept the license terms agreement, followed by next uh, name for the virtual machine. So I'm going to call that VMware 
uh, ESX I 8.0. Uh, we'll call that OVA. We'll just tag it OVA so it uh, it looks a bit different. Um, now, one of the things that's going to be slightly different is that because it's been created as an OVA, there are various things that are set in the OVA already. Um, but if you're a bit sneaky and a bit crafty and you basically use uh, Notepad or Notepad++, you can open the OVA and you can actually edit those changes uh, if you wish. Otherwise, just go with the defaults that, um, that William has provided and we'll, we'll look at those. Um, so next. Now, I've been experimenting with this um, networking information and configuration information, etc. And, uh, and to be honest, really, um, I just thought it was a waste of time putting any of that in uh, because we can reconfigure it later. So I'm just going to basically click import and it'll import, it'll import it fairly quickly. And then what it actually basically tries to do, um, it tries to power it up. Uh, and in this configuration, it's going to fail. So that's OK. Uh, I wanted it to do that. So now we've actually basically got, if you can actually have a little look at the configuration here. So we've got uh, memory eight gigs. So again, I'm going to, I'm going to up that to 16. Um, I'm going to change the uh, processors to uh, four. Uh, well, I'm going to do number of cores four and one processor. Hard disk. So now, you know, you could at this point, experiment and mess around with the sizes but just be a little bit careful because um these are fixed sizes at the moment uh so the 16 gig version here is the where the operating system is installed these two here are probably data stores um so i'm going to change the the networking to nat uh, I'm going to add a, I'm going to, I'm just going to go with what we've got here for the moment. So I'm going to click OK. So we've got two network adapters. Uh, we've got all the hard disks. We've just changed the memory. And that. one of the things I'm going to do is going to upgrade the virtual machine. Um, the current uh, virtual machine hardware compatible is a workstation 14.x. And I'm going to basically just update it to 17.5. So we can use all the features and I'm going to alter this virtual machine. I'm not going to clone it followed by next followed by apply. So that's done. One of the other things I'm going to do as well, I'm going to look in the options and I'm going to specify that this machine is VMware ESXi 8 followed by OK. So at that point now I'm ready to power on uh, the virtual machine. Now I know the reason why it's actually basically giving me a failure on this particular box. And that's because I've actually got the Intel virtualized, virtualized Intel VT. Um, that is not compatible with my WSL2 settings for the moment. So you will need that option ticked uh, to virtualize machines under ESXi. Uh, but because I've got WSL2 running on this physical bare metal machine, uh, there is a, a conflict. So I need I need to untick that you don't untick it okay so there you can see the machine is booting um 12th gen processor 16 gigs of memory and what we'll do when we get the the message about starting up and dhcp uh we'll log in with the browser again and i'll show you the the data stores Um, like this, I think these virtualization templates, I think were created by William Lamb for, uh, his vSAN, um, clusters script, uh, PowerShell script under VMware workstation and the VMware vSphere hypervisor. And later, I think they've been created for VCF as well. Um, but here we go. So 192.168.189.139. Um, so I'm just going to. That was our old host, remember? Three, nine. There we go. So there's the famous, your connection is not private. We spoke about that in the last video in creating and rolling around certificates. Um, okay, now it's no surprise that the password used here is VM where one pling. Um, it's a standard password that's used across 
uh, a lot of VMware um, OVAs, templates and appliances. I'm going to click OK. So there you go. Exactly the same. We downloaded the OVA um, and we've imported the OVA into VMware Workstation and we are able to run ESXi 8.0 Update 3 available from VMware flings um, with no entitlement. So uh, you decide um, whether or not that um, ESXi free is no longer available. Like the ESXi free licenses are no longer available, but I'm sure if you search hard enough, you may come across an evaluation license or you may come across a free license. Uh, but the same thing applies that you're in evaluation mode. Uh, so you can evaluate all the bells and whistles of VMware vSphere hypervisor ESXi 8.0 U3 for 60 days. And at 60 days or the 59th day, 60 days, um, it will expire and you will not be able to turn on any of your virtual machines again. But that doesn't actually basically stop you um, reinstalling again. Um, and... If you've actually reinstalled, if you've actually created your virtual machines on a separate disk. Uh, now this has got the, the if I click new data store here, actually, if we look in devices. So if you look in devices, you can see the eight gig disk and the 16 gig disk. Uh, they are the ones that are sitting um in our configuration here uh here sorry let's just edit those settings and you can see them more clearly so here's the 16 gig 4 gig and 8 gig discs that appear so you can actually basically increase the size of those or decrease the size of those but as i showed you in the previous video what i would do personally i would add and create another disc a 200 gig disk or as big as you want to install your virtual machines on um make a note of the file name of that and then when you actually basically come to reinstall all you're doing is just reinstalling that disk and then you can add your 200 gig disk to it all your virtual machines are actually basically installed on that vmfs data store and then just browse the inventory and browse the data store and add those virtual machines back to your inventory simples if you don't have a license so that's all there is to show you in this particular video um is esxi free no longer available the licenses aren't but you still have a mechanism to be able to download uh, you may not have the mechanism to download an iso which you need to be entitled for but clearly there is a mechanism to download ESXi 8 for Home Lab uh, by downloading the OVA and importing the OVA into VMware Workstation to use nested. Haven't seen it mentioned before. Uh, as I said, I have seen a lot of people basically turn around and say that it's no longer available to download, uh, no longer available to use, and people have been flamed to death for that. Um, but again, I think we're all here in the community to help one another. Uh, and if your goal uh, is to learn VMware vSphere Hypervisor, which is certainly my goal, um, my goal is to mentor, pe mentor people and to help people um, implement VMware Workstation, VMware vSphere Hypervisor, uh, and give them the tools and give them the knowledge to you know, use this stuff, uh, then there is a mechanism uh, to download it officially. As I said, whether it's an undersight, oversight, wombling free, uh, I don't know. Um, but if you're watching this video for the first time and you're trying to get your hands on VMware vSphere ES6i, or you're trying to get your hands on any of the other versions of VMware vSphere, uh, then my advice to you is um, go and grab and download them now uh, before they disappear. Who knows? Anyway, again, thanks so much for watching another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. If you like this video, then please thumbs up. If you don't like this video, then please thumbs down. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And um, in the next video, um, leading on from this, um, it's almost a segue into it, really. I'm going to show you how to install uh, VMware vSphere vCenter server in VMware Workstation. Um, so. 
come back and watch that one. It's not officially supported, uh, but you probably haven't got support anyway. Um, you probably haven't got a support agreement with Broadcom. Um, so what actual difference does it make these days um, <laughs> if you're going to basically install VMware vCenter server on VMware Workstation and use it? Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that one uh, for you to decide. Anyway, so thanks again for watching. Uh, come back for the next video uh, when we have a little look at um, installing VMware vCenter server uh, on VMware Workstation 17.6. So for now, thank you very much and goodbye.